Hello everybody. In this video, I would like to give you an introduction to the programming tool Node-RED, as uh, well as its characteristics, its general structure, um, and so on, before we start with the data request of the web service in the next video. Node-RED is a browser-based programming tool, which enables you with the help of flows and a graphical programming surface um, to create functions and small programs relatively easily. So this helps to collect data from different sources, to process them, and uh, in the end to forward them to different endpoints. Node-RED runs on many different platforms, and uh, because of that, it can be installed, for example, on your local computer or an Edge device like a Raspberry Pi or on different Edge gateways. Um, you can also do this by using a Docker container. But uh, Node-RED is also available uh, and runs on many clouds. Node-RED, the Node-RED surface consists of different parts. So on the left-hand side, you find uh, the Node library with single nodes. Uh, um, these are pretty much uh, single function blocks. And by using drag and, drag and drop, you can insert those nodes into your programming environment. So that's the flow editor in the middle. By double clicking on the node, uh, you open up its editing screen. And depending on the range of function of the node, you can make settings um, and program little program parts. On the right side, you can find a, a surface which you can click through by using the tabs at the top. For example, by using the info tab, uh, you can find additional information about the individual nodes. By clicking on the individual nodes, uh, you can display additional information about the range of functions of this node, for example. There are more tabs above, such as the debug tab, which we'll need later as well. To sort and divide up individual programs in a better way, there are individual program settings or individual program type parts up here. So you can easily create them by clicking on the plus button uh, here or by double clicking on it and then you have a new surface on which you can place the individual flows. So a new editor. By clicking on the tabs, you can switch back and forth between the individual programs. By double clicking on the tabs, you can edit the flow and for example, give it a new name or simply delete it. So if you changed anything on your flow, if you changed uh, anything in your program, or if you have changed some settings on the nodes, you can compile the changes and set them live just by clicking on the red deploy button in the upper right side. By clicking on this button, everything you have programmed and changed will go live, resulting that uh, all functions are implemented and up and running. If, you, if the deploy button is grayed out, it means that you didn't have changed anything. So if I move a node, uh, there you will see that you have a blue dot on a node, that you have changed something, and on the upper right you see that the deploy button is getting red and you can click it again. So thanks for listening and enjoy trying out.